Last season, we talked about the various topics of the world of photography. We had the best photographers. We took you to the best locations. And we even shared some of the secrets of the masters of the industry. Well, I'm sure magiging excited talaga yung mga students and students at heart out there. Pero ngayon, para mas ma-inspire ang ating mga camera geeks, we're gonna feature some celebrity photographers. This one specializes in fashion photography. Now, dahil first episode to ng season 2, we're gonna give you the best in the industry. This guy's works can be seen on all the glamour magazines, the billboards, and even TV commercials. Wow, Paolo, he must be really good. I know, he's really good. I'm excited to meet him, and I'm sure the viewers are even more excited. So, here he is. He is one of the Philippines' top directors and fashion photographers. An ambassador of one of the country's top camera providers. He also shoots fashion photographs for prestigious magazines and different advertisements, from beauty products to clothing lines. He is an in-house director and head of operations for post-production for one of the biggest networks in the Philippines. His voice alone already demands attention. Professional yan sa iba't ibang mga bagay, hindi lang sa pagdidirect, kundi sa opisina, ilang boss, Ilang director. Very light pagdating sa, sa trabaho. Light in the sense na yung atmosphere niya palagi kailangan, ano, kailangan masaya. He's a perfectionist. He won't stop until he gets what he wants. Work-wise, he has always had an um, eye for beauty. And he had always had an ear for music. And he knew right away where he wanted to in his uh, work. He has a very good rapport with his models, with his talents. He can make them do anything, and I mean anything, um, just to get the magic shot. Um, so, you know, he, he has a very good control over all the situations in a production. Paul had always been very quiet, yet articulate. He will not speak a lot, but when he speaks, he will have something very definite to say, knowledgeable, intentional. In high school, si Paul was a bully. You know, uh, iikot-ikot yan, makikipag, kunyari, meron, meron kang inapin na, na isang kaklase niya, kaawain ka nun. He was a bully in high school, but for some reason, I think he toned down. He is one of the first three non-linear editors here in the country. At the start of his career, he began directing TV commercials, and then proceeded to directing corporate imaging videos for one of the country's biggest networks. The mga trabaho ni Direct Paul, uh, ika nga niya, he always shoots 24 frames in wide open. Sa ang pananaw niya kasi sa buhay, parating shoot it right. Kasi pag sinut mo ng tama, mas marami ka nang pwedeng gawin kapag ka pinasok mo siya o digital enhance pag pinasok mo siya sa computer. Kaya yung mga trabaho niya, pwedeng nating isabay siya internationally, locally. Paul's style is very much different from other directors. He likes to play around with lenses, with openings, with apertures. He likes to play around with a lot of depth of field. No? Most of the work I've seen especially the one he did for the network he works for. It makes you feel that you're in the actual film itself. Very madetalian sa mga eksena, sa mga shot na kinukuna namin. At saka alam niya kung ano yung gusto niya talaga. Kaya may mga times na pag hindi namin makuha yung gusto niya, siya mismo uupo sa camera para mag-shoot. At the same time, kasi mula, mula pre-production, nandiyan na yung nakatutok, hanggang post-production, hanggang 
hanggang presentation ng sa client nandiyan yan uh, kapag di niya gusto siya na upo hanggang pag edit siya na rin uupo para lang mabawasan yung trabaho at mabilis yung magiging output namin his style is comparable to i would say most um, international filmmakers no um, he his eye for for color for for tone is is something else as a photographer and director, he also had experienced struggles that tested his creativity and flexibility. Nung minsan meron kami isang proyekto, uh, nag-request si Direk Paul ng 300 uh, na extras para dun sa isang malaking eksena. Dahil nga, siyempre, gawa ng budget-wise, kailangan magtipid ng konti. Pagdating namin sa eksena, ang binigay lang sa kanya, dumating na tao, bebente lang. So yun yung isang challenge na kailangan niyang malagpasan na yung benteng tao na yun eh hindi lang sa isang eksena. Sa pitong eksena ang gagawin namin. Paulit-ulit lang yun. So paano niya dadayain yung itsura, yung pananamit, lahat ng mga taong nandun in just four days of shoot. Just recently, Paul Tipizon was chosen as an endorser of a telecommunications tablet landline. Now, professional photographer Paul Tipizon tells us how. Hi, I'm Paul Tipizon, and here we're going to talk about composition. Being a big fish in the industry, doing lots of shoots and pictorials for magazines and commercials, and dealing with many celebrities, still, he kept his feet on the ground. I, I would consider him like candy. He's um, hard on the outside, but really soft in the inside. Every day is a different day if, uh, whenever you're working with Paul. You don't really get to know what's going to happen. But uh, one thing's for sure, pagkatrabaho mo si Direk, uh, Even though he is successful now in his chosen field, Direct Paul still has a desire for something more, and that is to someday become a conflict photographer. You know, other people will just give up, you know. So he goes, hey, if there's something you want to do, just go for it. Like, um, say, there was one time he said, you want to learn this group to, to be an editor. So I go, eh, sure, I can give it a shot, but I'm not really into it. But he said, you're artistic, go for it. So he, w he would push. And he made me learn to trust. Sa company, nung in-interview niya ako, yun yung hindi ko makalimutan, na sinabi niya sa akin, na mas kugustuhin ko pang uh, tumanggap ng isang taong Walang alam, pero willing matuto, kaysa sa taong maraming alam na ayaw nang matuto. Yun ang pinaka daladala ko hanggang ngayon na sinasabuhay ko na mas, mas masarap ka trabaho yung mga willing matuto. Kasi tuloy-tuloy yung progreso, yung kumbaga pag-unlad mo sa lahat ng aspeto. Ganun, ganun, niya kami, ganun niya ako kinausap noong time na yun. At the same time, kapag ka, sa shoot naman, parati niya kaming tinuturuan. Uh, kumaga, pumasok ako sa pagsushoot ng zero knowledge na para sa akin ngayon, hindi man ako perfecto, pero marami na akong natutunan simula na nag-umpisa kami. Akala ko kasi noon, ano eh, ma mahusay na ako, magaling na ako. Pero pagkasama ko siya, doon na realize marami pa akong kailangan matutunan. Kaya mahal ko yung tao ngayon. Siya nagturo sa akin lahat, kaya nandito ako ngayon. So Rosie, how amazing was Paul Tixon? Absolutely amazing. More than the glitz and the glamour, the working attitude and the passion are elements for success. Yes, and if you want to be just like him, now you know exactly what you have to do. <laughs>